morning and welcome again for our thought for the day. I want to read you a verse that probably, if you know Christ, many of you will be able to recite from memory. It's found in 2 Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14. It simply says this, If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. What a tremendous verse that is. And the title I've given to my little thought is this, A Triple Promise for a Troubled People. Triple promise for a troubled people. Who are the troubled people? The Church of God. His people. That's what he says. If my people. We need to grasp this promise that he offers to us as his people. As we read through our text this morning, how encouraged we can be as we read those words called by his name. We are called by the name that is above every other name. You may hear me often say about the name of Jesus, I can't stop talking about it, I can't stop saying about it. You see, his name must be exalted because it is the greatest name. There is no other name like the name of Jesus. You and I have been chosen by Jesus himself. Chosen by Jesus himself. And yet, because of our sinful nature, we're very often apt to fail. But because of the mercy of God, in our failure, he is our forgiveness. And he is the one that can bring us out of our failure into great victory. If only we listen and follow his word. You will notice that the text shows us that if we do something, then he will do something. That's the principle in this text. If you do something, I'll do something. If you make a step towards me, then I'll come to you and be all that you could ever need. When we call Helier, we're told to humble ourselves. How easy that should be for you and me today, for the very fact that Christ died in our place and has cleansed us from our sins, and yet we still transgress against him and still fail him, who has given his all for us. How easy it should be for us to fall on our knees and humble ourselves before him. Shouldn't the very fact of all that he has done for us drive us to our knees in humility and brokenness as we realize how favored we are by our great God, how favored we are, and yet how feeble we are in ourselves. Oh God, help us to pray for his mercy. God, help us to pray for his cleansing. God, help us to pray for his deliverance from our wickedness. You see, it is his people, it is his people that he calls wicked. The world are wicked in this and they're lost in this sin. But we who are his need to put our lives right and to serve him and to follow him in a way that is pleasing to him. We must grasp the truth of it, friends, this day. We have lowered his standards instead of exalting his name. Our country is weak because the church this week. Oh, may God help us and may our all-consuming desire be to turn from our sin and to turn back to God that he will turn to us and be all that we need. And then we read of this triple promise of Almighty God. What is the triple promise? He hears, he pardons, and he heals. God will hear the words of his people. We have heard the word of God. And he hears and then he pardons, and then comes the healing of our land. Do you notice, friends, the promise is healing of the land? What responsibility lays upon us who are called by his name? We who are called the church. What a responsibility is upon our shoulders if we, we, we believe God's word? You see, we can be turned from a troubled people to a triumphant people. God allow us to experience the moving of his Holy Spirit upon our individual lives so that we will live triumphantly for him and that he will indeed bring revival to this land of ours. God bless you. I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow morning.